DreAllDay.com. What's going on, everybody? Dre Baldwin, DreAllDay.com. We are now talking the small forward position. What skills do you need? What abilities must you have if you want to play small forward in basketball? Now, I've already covered this for point guard. I've covered it for shooting guard. And you know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to cover the forward positions. I'm going to cover small forward and power forward. No, no, I'm not. I'm going to do small forward by itself. Now I'm going to do power forward. Change my mind. So when it comes to the small forward position, what skills do you need to be a small forward? All right, number one thing you got to understand is that every player has a different skill set. So the number one thing you got to do is figure out what your game is. What is your game? Are you an outside shooter? Are you a ball handler? Are you a slasher who attacks the rim? Are you a rebounder? Are you a post-up guy? Are you a combination of all of these things? Are you a guy who can bring the ball up the floor? You want to be LeBron James? You want to be Kevin Durant? You want to be Carmelo Anthony? You want to be Kawhi Leonard? You want to be Draymond? You want to be Iguodala? Who do you want to be when it comes to playing your position? What do you bring to the table? First thing you got to figure out is what your game is. Not what your position is, what your game is. Just because you call yourself a small forward does not mean anything. <laughs> doesn't mean you can dribble, doesn't mean you can shoot, doesn't mean you can pass or rebound or play D, doesn't mean anything. It just means you gave yourself a name. It's like if you change your name from David to Mike, it doesn't mean anything, you just change your name. It doesn't mean you could do anything better than you were yesterday. What skills do you bring to the table? So the first thing you must understand, basketball player, is what your game is. And if you don't know what your game is, that's the first thing you need to figure out before you worry about the name of a position. Because if you don't have any game, you can't figure out your game, you ain't got no game, you know what your name is, guy on the bench. Your name is customer number 37 who bought a ticket to sit in the stands because you're not on the team. You gotta have some game first. So first of all, figure out what the hell your game is. Now, let's look at small forwards. And again, we're using the NBA as an example because everybody knows these players. Small forwards in the NBA, who we got? We got a guy like LeBron James who's a bad example because he could pretty much do everything. So we're not going to use LeBron. Look at a guy like Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant is close to seven feet tall or 6'9", whatever you want to call him. Long arms, he can handle the ball. He ain't no Kyrie Irving with the ball, but he can attack guys off the bounce. He'll dunk on you. He can score in the post. He's not going to bruise you in the post, but he can do some moves in the post. Of course, he's a great outside shooter. He can shoot off the catch. He can shoot off the bounce. He's a good all-around defender when he wants to be when he's locked in. Now, you look at some other people who play small forward. Look at a guy like Draymond Green. He doesn't have super long arms. He's definitely not the shooter that Kevin Durant is. He doesn't have the ball handling shiftiness that a Kevin Durant has, though he does have ball handling skills. He's good at defending different positions, not the same way that KD does, but he can defend different positions. But if you look at those guys, completely different body types. They have different skill sets, differing skill sets. Draymond's a guy who will bang you in the post and score on you, whereas KD is a guy who's gonna finesse you in the post and still score on you. KD scores a whole lot more than Draymond Green. Draymond is a much better creator off the dribble, not creator off the dribble, but passer. He's a better passer than KD. KD gets his assists so he gets the ball a whole lot more. Now these guys are teammates, of course. When you're watching this, it's the summer of 2016 after they decided to become teammates or KD decided to become his teammate. But the point is this, completely different skill sets. Look at a guy like Scottie Pippen compared to Kevin Durant. Scottie Pippen was definitely not the shifty ball handler that Kevin Durant was. Scottie Pippen could score in the post, but he was definitely more of a, a power fundamentals guy in the post than KD is more of a finesse guy in the post. So you have to look at different things that different players do. Scottie Pippen would guard point guards based on the situation for the Chicago Bulls. Kevin Durant ain't guarding no point guard because you would have a guy like Westbrook or now I guess a guy like Stephen Curry or even Klay Thompson guarding the opposing team's point guard. So the skill sets are completely different. Look at a guy like Kawhi Leonard. If you look around the NBA, look at a guy like Carmelo Anthony. He's a guy who can just bruise you, destroy you in the post. He can score on power forwards in the post because he has that strong base. He has a strong base and he can just body guys up in the post. He's not a guy who's going to shoot too many threes off the bounce. So he does shoot them. He doesn't make them. <laughs> But he doesn't shoot too many of those threes off the bounce. That's the type of player that Carmelo Anthony is. Is he a guy who's going to spot up too much and shoot threes? No. Kevin Durant, will he spot up? Hell yeah, because he's good at it. Is Draymond Green going to spot up and shoot threes? Not really. He might shoot a couple, but I think he'd rather get inside that paint and do something. He'll shoot a few just to keep the defense honest, but he ain't really a sniper like a KD. And there's plenty of small forwards in the league. I'm just using a few guys as an example. But understand, they all have completely different skill sets. There's no one thing that you must be able to do to call yourself a small forward. It doesn't work like that, except there actually is one thing. On defense, you got to be able to guard a small forward. You can't guard a small forward, you can't play small forward. Work on your game. DreAllDay.com Ever wonder what it would be like if you could be more confident on a more consistent basis? What about if you could just brush off the negativity of other people more easily so they didn't stumble you and slow you down? 
What if you could be more of a leader so that people fell under your influence and follow your direction and your communication? What if you could have more focus on the positive things that you want instead of looking at the negativity and letting that slow you down and put fear in your heart? And what if you could do all of this, tie it all in and make it part of your normal day-to-day -day life for the rest of your life? Would there be any benefit to that? I think so and I know you do too. Well, guess what? My new course is called Bulletproof Mindset and it covers everything I just said and a whole lot more. It's an eight-week course. You can get all the details and get started right now at dreallday.com slash bulletproof. Check it out and I'll see you over there. Work on your game. If you're on Snapchat, hit me on the snap. My snap name is at Dre Baldwin. You already know how that works. And I got a podcast, if you didn't know. It is called Work On Your Game. It is an everyday podcast where I talk about getting yourself into the right mindset, that bulletproof mindset, getting yourself seen, heard, known, getting the exposure you want, and making things happen in your life instead of waiting for things to happen to or for you. Subscribe to that podcast. We're on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Stitcher. Make sure you check it every single day. Make sure you're subscribed so you catch the heat. Work on your game. Like Dre Ball, 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 Dre Ball,